Hi friends, so a good final today to end the ATP Masters 1000 this year and uh, Medvedev played really well to beat Zverev. Uh, we had discussed this in the previous video and I think uh, the prediction was correct this time. So Medvedev was able to win and as suggested uh, Zverev started off well. He hit some clean winners, was playing well in the first set. But Medvedev, uh, similar to Nadal, you know, stood in in the second set and just managed to somehow stay with Zverev. And once he got an opportunity, he was on to it. And then after he was able to get a complete hold on the match. And uh, I think Zverev was also a bit tired at the end. You could see, I mean, losing the set 6-1 was uh, definitely uh, not that something that he would have liked to do but i think uh, medvedev was able to wear down his opponent uh, as he always does and another final victory for medvedev today and let's just see some of the match statistics so the aces count uh, i think both of them serve really well and they did today as well so you can see the first of percentage of both guys it's like above 80 percent which is uh, surprising because it's not expected i mean in a big final, it's about 60 to 65% at most, but uh, this is these are very impressive numbers from both of them. The winners, two unforced errors, uh, as you can see, Medvedev hit more winners and made less unforced errors in comparison, whereas Zverev made good amount of winners, but then more unforced errors. And I think uh, after the second set, his level really dropped. And also the physical as well as his uh, technical game dropped a little bit and that is why Medvedev was able to get to the finish line in the end. And uh, you can see the first serve points won, it's uh, better for Medvedev. And if you see the interesting fact or the fact that we all expected was the long rally. So we knew that uh, if Medvedev is able to stay in the rally and if he's able to uh, you know play some long rallies then it will definitely help him and that we saw today so the rallies between five to nine shots and nine plus shots were won by medvedev most of the times whereas the under five shots were won by zverev so medvedev dominated the longer rallies and that was uh, the plan the court was fast so if zverev would have played more aggressive uh, you know going to the net most of the times it might have helped but i think uh, after the second set it was all medvedev so looking at the medvedev's road to paris title so he beat some quality players the top 10 players like zverev raonic schwarzman d menor as well as anderson so anderson had to pull out in the first set due to injury but then uh, it was six all in the first set so medvedev did fight well in that set as well and uh, what happens is now he gains 1000 atp points and moves to number four in the atp rankings just above roger federer who is at number five so now a lot of things to look forward to for medvedev the atp finals is just around the corner and uh, the eight players are decided so quite an open tournament uh, it will be quite interesting to see because Djokovic and Nadal would definitely be the favorites but these players are also playing well and it's indoor hard courts so all these players are very good on hard courts so the surface might not be helpful for any specific player because these all play well and i would say since these players are more on match practice than Djokovic or uh, even Nadal because he usually struggles on hard court so it will be interesting to see how it uh, you know matches all the players and I think Zverev has won in the past there uh, Tsitsipas has also won last year so Tsitsipas will be the defending champion there and then Djokovic of course has uh, the record number of titles as well as uh, I think Nadal hasn't won there so it will be a big tournament for Nadal I would say uh, because he has almost everything so that's one thing that's missing from his resume he would definitely like to win once uh, at least once in that tournament and he's in good form so I think uh, he will need to play really aggressive there and we'll discuss uh, about that tournament uh, just prior to it 
but today i think it's, it's a huge victory for medvedev he's a good player he's a consistent player uh, similar to david and go and jokovic in in a few respects few aspects and i think uh, medvedev has really uh, grown as a player in the past past few months uh, he can also play aggressive at times we saw today when he wants he can just uh, you know increase the speed of his shots and go to the net as well and uh, sometimes he defends well so it's it's a good variety of game that he has and it's difficult to uh, you know uh, find a big weakness in his game so that is why he's been able to uh, you know be so much uh, successful and the most important factor uh, the most important quality that medvedev has is his mental strength so in close matches where it goes to a tie break or whether it is five all six all medvedev usually finds a way to win those sort of matches uh, so i think that's uh, the key factor and that is why i picked medvedev over zverev in for today's final and uh, that's what happened so he just stood there in the second set uh, things could have easily gone zverev's way but he just stood there and fought till the end and then in the third set it was uh, pretty much one sided so thank you guys for watching this video and we'll discuss more on the atp finals in the next video Thank you.